welcome back to Uncle Don's Friday Night Cocktail Hour. Well, I got to tell you that a lot of people have seemingly been interested in what this cocktail is tonight that uh, my wife has found on liquor.com. So as you, sh- as you saw from the uh, uh, opening credits, the name of tonight's drink that you all were guessing on, on the, when, when I posted on my, my birthday was uh, the name of this drink is the Kentucky Buck. Well, a Kentucky Buck, you know, is a is one of many different variations of a drink that's that's uh, called either a buck or a mule. Um, but uh, uh, the, the buck basically is a type of drink that contains basically three things: ginger beer or ginger ale. Uh, it contains a citrus juice and it contains some sort of spirit or liquor. Okay. Now there are a lot of different types of named bucks out there. Tonight we're making the Kentucky buck. Well, there are drinks called the gin buck. There's a drink called a rum buck. Uh, of course you make it with rum. There's an Irish buck where you make it with Irish whiskey, which you you could make with Jameson's if you like it. The vodka buck, an interesting one. The other name for a vodka buck is the Moscow mule. Um, and as you know, you know, the Moscow mule, you know, is made with vodka. And uh, that was a drink that was actually invented in Los Angeles. And it's probably responsible for the increased popularity of uh, vodka in the United States from the 40s through the 60s. So again, a really popular and delicious drink. But I'm going to make for you tonight a Kentucky Buck. And let me tell you, we, we drank it and it was impressive. We loved it. So I'm hoping that you like the way it tastes as much as you like the way it looked. So let's go through the ingredients tonight. Now, a Kentucky Buck Probably you should make it with Kentucky bourbon, but I'll be honest with you, I'm really, I enjoy rye, so I'm going to make mine with rye tonight. And this is Whistle Pig Piggyback, uh, six year old. It's a good run of the mill rye that I think you'll like in both this drink, you'll like it in old fashions, you'll like it to, ha- to have it in Manhattan's. I think it's a great taste in, uh, great taste in rye, but you can use any kind of, uh, you know, bourbon, Kentucky bourbon or whiskey. Um, Angostura bitters. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, simple sugar, and this is one of those drinks where we're going to do a little bit of muddling. All right, so there'll be some muddling music uh, associated with tonight's video, and there'll be a little shake, shake, shake in music, so I'm sure that will please a lot of you. All right, so let's get started here. First thing that we're going to do, got our cocktail shaker here, is we're going to do the muddling. And the way you do the muddling is you're going to put a good-sized strawberry in your cocktail shaker. Simple enough. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a half an ounce of lemon juice, which we'll pour right in here into, again, my special measuring container and pour that right in. And and then you're also going to pour a half an ounce of simple syrup, which, again, very easy to make. Again, as the name says, it's simple. Pour that in. And then the next step, for my birthday, I got myself a little new muddler that I can reach into just about any kind of glass or any type of cocktail shaker. So with my little muddler here, I'm going to start muddling my strawberry and my simple syrup and my lemon juice. And this is going to be so good. These are such good drinks. I'm very surprised this... Uh, that that I like it that much because it has, and I didn't tell you before, it also has ginger beer in it. So you can make it with ginger ale if you want, but ginger beer is the topping off liquid you're going to have. And I was surprised I liked it because I'm not a big fan of ginger beer, but I was very surprised and very happy. All right, there we go. So that's nice and muddled. So uh, I'm going to muddle it just a little bit more so we can have a little bit of muddling music and take it away. That's messed up. Okay, we're back. All right, so that's nice and muddled up. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to add some ice into there. There we go. Plenty of ice because, you know, we're going to shake this big boy big time so it's nice and cold. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our spirit. So we're going to add an ounce and a half to two ounces. So you know how I am. I like a little bit extra in mine. So I'm going to add two ounces of my rye whiskey. 
into there. There we go. Cap that back up again. And then I'm going to add two dashes of Angostura bitters. So here we go. That's looking good right there. That is looking good. So now, you know what comes next now? We're going to shake the snot out of this. Here we go. Take it away. Casey in the Sunshine Band. Okay, we're back. That's nice and shook up. Everything's nice and intermingled together. There we go. Okay, take the top off of that. Now, what do you mix this in? Well, I'm going to use some of my favorite little gin and tonic glasses. Again, these hold about a close to 10 ounces. And I'm going to, first of all, pour, I'll put a more little bit of ice in here in mine. Probably about, you know, roughly halfway full. I think that's probably enough right there. Just about that much ice. And I lied, maybe one less. And then, next step is we're going to pour this all into your chilled glass filled with ice. Now remember, there's some muddled up strawberry in there. So you're going to end up, uh, you know, with a little bit of debris in there, but that's okay. It's from a strawberry, so it's going to be delicious. And we'll put that aside. And then next thing we're going to do, we're going to add our tonic water. So fresh tonic water here. Excuse me, not tonic water, but uh, ginger beer to top it all off. And then the garnish. Now here's a fancy garnish that I am going to add to this. Just because the picture on liquor.com looks so doggone good, I'm just going to make it that way. I've got a very thin lemon peel right here. And i got a couple of little strawberries. I'm going to pick myself one out. And basically, I'm going to just skewer it right straight across through the lemon, through the berry, and back through the lemon again. And you got yourself a really cool, fancy-looking garnish. And I'm going to put that right in the top right there. All right. So there you go. There is an excellent drink discovered by my wife, Kimberly. Thank you very much. Called the Kentucky Buck. And again, read up on the different type of buck drinks because there are a lot of them and try them out. And they may be pretty good. And I'm going to give this one a taste because I just can't wait. I got to shut up and drink. Oh, boy. Yes, another good one. Happy fall, everybody. This has been Uncle Don enjoying making drinks with you. Hopefully, I'll make a great drink for you again next week. Uh, you all stay safe. Have a great weekend. And cheers.